Good morning. Today, tea with Barry. We're going to learn something. Barry is a friend of mine that knows the most about tea of anyone I know. Okay. Okay, here we are in Zomia Tea. Barry, the tea. If you have no interest in tea, tune out now. Well, the tea that I chose to, to drink today is 2011 Spring Manjuang Pu'er Tea. It's a cake tea. It comes from Yunnan, China. And uh, what I'm going to go over is the basics of how to prepare this style of tea, which is a young, unfermented pu'er tea, and also in cake form. So what I'm going to do is just break some of the tea off. And basically, with all shapes of pu'er tea, whether it's a cake or a brick or a tuo cha, they're all pressed from top to bottom. So the best way to break up a cake or a brick of tea is always from the side. You'll meet the least amount of resistance coming in from the side because it's all pressed this way. So what you're doing is trying to break some of the tea off but also keeping the leaf as intact as possible. A ratio of water to, to leaf. And the ratio that I recommend um, is usually about one gram of tea per 25 milliliters of water in your vessel. And since the vessel that I'm using is about 150 milliliters, what I'm looking for is about six grams of tea. And here I have 5.3 grams, and I'm gonna call that close enough. To brew this type of tea, I recommend a water temperature of about 190 to 200 degrees. Oh, so the first thing we're gonna do is just rinse the tea. I'm gonna pour enough water in to cover the leaves. About 30 seconds, you know. I'm gonna pour off the rinse water. This first rinse, we're not gonna consume. I'm gonna use this to heat our tea wear. We're also gonna give some more time for the tea to actually absorb water. And this is a perfect time while we're allowing the tea to absorb the water and we can enjoy the fragrance of the tea as well. So, after we've done our 30 second rinse and we've given the time for the tea to allow, uh, to absorb water and really open up, this actually helps with a compressed tea uh, because the tea is so compressed, by giving it the time to absorb water, it allows the tea to fully open up and that way it prepares the tea to be steeped. And so now that the tea is opened up and rinsed, we can go ahead and do our first steeping. Now that we've had our first steeping, we get to enjoy the flavor. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Mm. So what's the name of this one again? This is Puar Tea. And it's Puar Tea from Manjuang Mountain. Manjuang is one of the six famous tea mountains of Yunnan, one of the oldest tea growing places on the earth. This is tea from the origin of tea. This is where tea originated on the planet. This is tea where tea grows wild and natural. Three things that make Puar unique amongst other types of tea is that Puar is one, an original environment tea, Two, Puar is the only type of tea that's ageable. And three is Puar is the only tea that will change in flavor and fragrance. Thanks, Barry. Thanks for shedding a little light on the deep subject of tea. Make sure to tune in next week, Wednesday morning. I'll be there. I hope you are. By the way, my book makes a great gift for people who, who have a sense of humor.